Hello friends, it is Sunday on Labor Day weekend. It's about like 1.47. So, uh, today we're going to take a break from the norm of shop with me's and fall decor and throwing leaves in your face. Um, today we're going to go ahead and explore downtown. I live in Austin, like, I live in Austin. But I grew up in Cedar Park, and I live like Head 10 west. minutes from Cedar Park right now in Austin, uh, but I never go downtown, literally ever. Uh, and as I will be moving south very, very soon, I want to go ahead and explore kind of the new neighborhood. Oh, I should hit up Sarah while I'm down there. Yeah, I probably should. Pop by Sarah. In 500 feet, turn anyway, right toward Ranch. So to we're going to go ahead and head down east. south. We're going to meet up with a very distant cousin of mine, the um, right which is like a whole like weird ancestry right thing. We both have the same name um, or same last name. Her maiden name is the same as my maiden name, even though I only have a maiden name, whatever. Um, but she found me on Facebook because we right have a friend in common because the world's entirely too small. Um, it turns out like we have the same great, 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 great grandfather um, who came over from Switzerland, I think. Anyway, so I'm gonna go meet with her. Uh, this will be my first time meeting her. I'm really excited. I've called her, I've like messaged her, I've like talked to her for a few years actually. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go meet up with her and possibly her husband, I think. Uh, but we're gonna go to Lucy in disguise, so I will be back with you in a second, guys. All right, bye. All right, so I am looking for parking right now. I literally never come down here because it's so hard to find a place to leave my dang car. Like, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where to park that I'm not going to get towed because that is not what I want for my day. You know, you know. And then there are all these little spots that have like residential permits only and it's real fun. It's real fun. So fun. It's been like 10 minutes and I am still driving around dodging pedestrians looking for parking. I mean, on the bright side, my hair looks like really good right now. Like, can y'all see this? Like, it's so like nice and shiny. And mind you, it's like fake, but it's clean. So it looks really good right now. All right, so I've never actually been in here, but it's like the epitome of keeping Austin weird. Look at these tiny hats. Look at this. She's adorable. This. It's like petticoats, you guys. It's actually really cute, and I love this green. It's hundred and seventy-five dollars, so it's like Victorian. That'd be so cute with like a pair of boots. 
Then we have it in brown too. Ooh, black and gold. Hey! I'm so sorry guys this hasn't been a very fascinating weekend for you for me it's been fabulous like I don't know what I did yesterday but I know it involved like grocery shopping and a nap and then like I just went to I met up with my um, cousin um, we went to a little restaurant called Perla or La Perla I don't know it was good it was really tasty I had a lobster roll for the first time any who's all yeah, um, not a very fascinating weekend for you. I'll try to pick it up. I don't know what I'm gonna go do next. I'm about to drive through these hills though, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, it is Monday. Um, I think it's Labor Day or is it? It's Labor Day. Uh, happy Labor Day. Um, I think we're just gonna call this a car vlog, a weekend car vlog, because I think. Every time I've talked to you, I've been in the car. Sorry. So yesterday, I didn't end up doing anything after I met up with my cousin. Um, I went home. I watched Carnival Row, which is a new Amazon show with Orlando Bloom and a girl whose last name I can't pronounce. And I pretty much binged the whole season. Um... So today I am actually going to put some like actually watchable content on this because God knows I have it this weekend. See like this is why I never blog. I think I said this yesterday or vlog. Um, I'm not interesting. I'm an introvert. So like if I'm not working like I work so much with people where I'm constantly talking to people all day. It's actually really draining to me. Um, so when I'm not working. I'm like growing roots into my couch and that's how I recharge my batteries, you know? So, this video is even so late this week too, so I don't know. Um, you're not going to see this before the contest period's over. I'm going to go ahead and post to Instagram. Just one more reminder, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, do, because you know, you might miss something. Like, if you didn't enter the Ray Dunn um, giveaway, it was on Instagram, too. You could have entered. I don't know. I have, I think I still have four entries in it, which I'm actually really, really happy with. Because that stuff isn't going to be in my house anymore. And I got to, like, have it and, like, you know, participate in the Ray Dunn craze without, like, adding to the amount of stuff I'm going to have to pack. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and go to a few of my favorite off the beaten path woo, fall places. Um, so I'll come back to you here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and get to driving. All right. Bye. All right. So first up on our way is going to be Ross. I've told you once. I've told you a billion times. Don't sleep on Ross. Ross is pretty legit. Like, Love Ross. Uh, so we're going to see what fall decor they have there. Um, I know I went a few day weeks. Oh, it's been a few weeks. I went a few I went a few weeks ago before I filmed the um, apartment tour to see what they had. And they just started putting things out. So they should have a good amount. But let's go see. <laughs>
so here are the fall throws. Um, the one I am like absolutely dying over is this beautiful blue one. Like, let me back up so you can see the color scheme on that. Um, I think sometime in the future, in the next few years, I'll go ahead and change my fall color scheme to a blue color scheme. Because I, I just love blue. Not really an orange person, but you know, when I was buying stuff last year, I was just buying stuff. So, yeah. So, we have a few more. So, this is what this guy looks like. He is beautiful. And, like, these are, they're like $9.99, but they're so soft, you guys. Like, these are really good material. Ooh, this guy's actually for a king size bed. And I don't know what price he is. Oh, he's only like $19.99. He's absolutely huge. I typically like do voiceovers because I swear people look at me like I am nuts when I'm talking on my camera. But it is what it is. I don't really care. Your girl ain't got a lot of time for voiceovers right now. So these are just skulls. We've seen them everywhere. I haven't seen this one with the snake yet. But evidently this is like a huge popular thing. I don't know why I want to poke them in their eyes. Anyway, step away from the skulls, Dominique. But yeah. Oh, look at this jack-o'-lantern. He's so cute. I have no idea. He's $10.99. That's actually a pretty good price for him. So yeah. number two which is Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel like a lot and I know everyone has their own feelings on Cracker Barrel whether you're going back to their past or Brad's wife or whatever. I adore Cracker Barrel and I love their little lobby so we're gonna go ahead and look through their lobby. More than likely I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner here too. Um, but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at what they have and since it is Cracker Barrel, they'll probably have, I'm betting on at least one Christmas thing. Because it's Cracker Barrel. Then why wouldn't they have Christmas already? So let's go look. I 
called it. Like right when you walk in the door. <gasps> I want him so badly. I want him so badly. Oh my God. All right, y'all, they have like a stupid amount of Christmas here, so we're gonna go look at all their Christmas too. Um, look at how cute this guy is. He is, he's $9.99, but he's also from Cracker Barrel, so we should expect things to be a little more expensive here. $9.99, oh, this is a candle. He's cute, he's also $10.99. really cute oh my god you know it's really sick when it's like September and you're having to resist turning around and listening to the Christmas carols of the thing playing behind you and by sick I mean I really want to go listen to those Christmas carols Thankfully, it's really slow right now, so I'm not having to, like, you know, cut a lot of people out. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, he's so cute. I love this platter. Oh, my God. I don't know who Pete the Cat is. People with children, comment below. What's Pete the Cat? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I was backing away from the thing that screamed at me. Probably need to stop touching things. Look how cute this is. It's so perfectly glittery. I don't even know what to say about that. He's ah, oh, he's so cool. Uh -huh. All right, they have this little automated broom every year too. Look how cute that is! I mean, it's completely the wrong colors. Because, you're, no. But it's so cute. Snuggle this muggle, though. If it were Slytherin colors, it probably would not say muggle. All right, guys, so that is all the fall they have here. Like, those two tables, that's it. Um, so we're gonna go eat, or by we, I mean I, I'm gonna go eat, and then we're gonna go ahead and walk around and look at all the Christmas, because like, it's so cute in here, like, so cute. All right, talk to you in a minute. Okay, so I finished eating, so let's go ahead and look at all of their uh, Christmas decor. So this lamp, lantern, is so cute. I really want to do a, like, faux version of this, 
I actually bought the lantern to do a faux version like this, so stay tuned for that. I don't know when we're doing it. Y'all, I love this. Look how sweet it is. Oh, the truck at the bottom. Oh, I just love this. I love how it matches my color scheme, too. Alright, so we have the camper trailer. Santa up there. Look at the little red cookie jar. And that lantern. I am like a freak for lanterns, you guys. I don't even know if you can hear me. I might end up voicing this over. Oh, that's a fountain. Alright, so behind me we have this big snowy white tree. I love how they have like their like themes, their theme colors everywhere. So this is like, I guess, our like woodsy, snowy tree. A little blue birdies. Uh, none of this matches my color scheme. I don't know why I went so generic with my color schemes. It's literally red and gray and white. Oh, oh no. What's today? <laughs> my purse and I are knocking down their things. I love this. And he's only like $19.99. Yeah. The little cardinals. <laughs> I love that. And they have a manger scene or nativity scene. Huge throw. That is so cute. That's so unique. I've actually never seen anything like that. And it is $9.99. Nope. Alright, so that woodland set's only $79.99. I don't know if one should put only in front of $80, but whatever. Alright, so behind me they have the blue color scheme, which is adorable. Unfortunately, not my color scheme. Oh, the angels. Okay, so you see the way they've done their ribbon here? A lot of people like to wrap the ribbon around. This is actually the way I prefer to do my ribbon. It's like tuck it in, tucked it like this. I'll show you closer to Christmas, but um, I don't like the ribbon wrapped around the tree. I think it's, it's not the aesthetic that I prefer. So we have this adorable little, oh my God, that's just so cute. I think I'm gonna actually grab an ornament while I'm here. Okay, I know it's September, don't yell at me in the comments, but 
I may have bought Christmas ornaments. I cannot help that Cracker Barrel had Christmas out in September and they had really cute ornaments. So let me show you what I bought so that you can understand where I was coming from, okay? Okay, again, don't yell at me. So, these really weren't that unique, but they were really cute in 99 cents. So I got this guy. I actually got three of him. Isn't he cute? Little angel. Cute, right? Right, okay, great. And then, I had to get him because like, okay, it is really hard to find. So, black Santa ornament. It is so hard to find black Santas. Good looking, I think we've gone over this before. It's so hard to find a good looking black Santa, guys. Like, so hard. So I got, I got him. He was only like $5.99 though. And he's gonna be so cute on my Christmas tree. Like, yeah. Hello friends. So that's the end of the video. Um, I did go to Walmart too, but it was actually a bust. They're still in back to school mode and they have like, like this big a section of fall. So I didn't even feel like that was worth putting in a video. But yeah. So I did want to go ahead and announce uh, the winner of my Ray Dunn sweepstakes. Or not sweepstakes. Giveaway? Sure. Uh, I want to go ahead and announce the winner of my Ray Dunn giveaway. Um, I did already inform him or her, but the winner is going to be, drum roll please, JJ619. Thank you all so much for participating. Um, here are all my participants in this great giveaway. Um, if you didn't win this one, just stay tuned for the next one. I'll either be doing it at the end of October or early November. I already have some Ray Dunn stuff on the shelf ready to go for y'all. So don't be discouraged. More is coming. And if you weren't able to enter the last one, as I said, more are coming. I actually really do enjoy giving away this brand. Um, I think it makes a lot of people happy and I like it. I like making y'all happy. And it's my whole thing. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do apologize that it is longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put out videos on Sundays from now on because my work schedule's changed. And shooting on Wednesdays has become um, pretty much impossible for me. So I'm going to shoot over the weekend. We're going to do a vlog style from here on out. And if you have pointers, if you, you know, would like different things, if you'd like to see different things to make this more enjoyable, I am open to criticism because this is something new for me. As I said, I really hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much everyone for watching and entering and liking and subscribing and if you haven't already, hit that bell button below. That way you can get up to date, uh, up to date information on giveaways, new videos, and anything else I have going. Again, thank you all so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!